Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we are going to learn division by 9, 99 and 999. Let's see an example. 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 2 divided by 9. The base for 9 is 10. In the base 10, 10 has 1 0. So we put a remainder stroke 1 digit from the right. First write down the first digit down as it is. Next add 3 plus 1 to get the next digit. 3 plus 1 is 4. Next add 4 with the next digit 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. Then add 6 plus 4, which is 10. We write down the 0 and carry the 1. Then add 10 plus 5, which gives us 15. Write down the 5 and carry the 1. After that, write 15 plus 2, which gives us 17. First write down the remainder stroke and write 17. The... The remainder can't be bigger than the divisor 9. So find out how many 9's can fit in 17. One 9 can fit in 17. So we carry 1 to the quotient. Then we do 17 minus the divisor 9. 17 minus 9 is 8. So the remainder is 8. For the quotient, we write down 3 down as it is, 4, and then we add 6 plus to carry 1, which makes 7. Then we do 0 plus to carry 1, which makes 1. After that, we do 5 plus 1, which makes 6. So the quotient is 3, 4, 7, 1, 6. And the reminder is 8. Let's see another example. 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 2, 2 divided by 9. The base for 9 is 10. The base 10 has 1, 0. So, we place the remainder stroke 1 digit from the right side. First, write down the first digit down as it is. Next, add 2 plus the next digit 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. Then do 5 plus 5, which is 10. We write down the carry 1 and we write down the carry 1 and write down the 0. Next to 10 plus 6, which is 16. Write down the 6 and carry the 1. Next to 16 plus 7. 16 plus 7 is 23. We write down the 2 and carry the 3. We write down the 3 and carry the 2. Next we do 23 plus 2. 23 plus 2 is 25. We write down the 5 and carry the 2. Next place a remainder stroke. Next we do 25 plus 2. 25 plus 2 is 27. The remainder can't be bigger than the divisor 9. So we do. So we figure out how many 9s can fit in 27. 3 9s can fit in 27, so we add 3 to the quotient. Next, we do 27 minus 27. We do 27 minus 27 because we do 9 times 3, 27. So, 27 minus 27 is 0. So, the reminder will be 0. For the quotient, we write down the 2 as it is. Next, we add 5 plus the carry 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. Next, we do 0 plus 1, 1. Next, 6 plus 2, 8. Then, we do 8 plus 3 plus 2, 
5 after that we do 5 plus 3 8 so the quotient will be 2 6 1 8 5 8 let's see another example 2 1 3 2 divided by 99 the base for 99 is 100 the base 100 has two zeros. So we put a remainder stroke two digits from the right hand side. Write down 2 and 1 as it is. Because the base 100 has two zeros. So we write down the first two digits down as it is. Next we put a remainder stroke. Then write this 21 over here below the 32. Next add 32 plus 21. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 2, 5. So the quotient is 21 and the reminder is 53. Let's try Another example, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3 divided by 99. The base for 99 is 100. The base 100 has two zeros. So we place a remainder stroke two digits from the right hand side. We put a comma after every two numbers from the right hand side. So we put a comma over here. First, write down the 1 down as it is. Next, write 1 as 0, 1 below 2 and 3. Because the base 100 has two zeros, so we have to write 1 as a two digit number. To make 1 as a two digit number, we write a 0 in front of 1. 2 plus 0 is 2 and 3 plus 1 is 4. Next, we place a remainder stroke. Next, we write this 24 over here below 23. Next, we add 24 plus 23. 3 plus 4, 7. 2 plus 2, 4. So, the quotient is 124 and the reminder is 47. Let's try another example. 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 2 divided by 999. The base for 999 is 1000. In the base 1000, there are three zeros. So we place the remainder stroke three digits from the right hand side. We write down 3, 1 and 2 down as it is because the base 1000 has 3 zeros so we write three num the three first numbers down as they are. Next put a remainder stroke. Write 312 below 452. Next, add 452 plus 312. So, 2 plus 2, 4. 5 plus 1, 6. 4 plus 3, 7. So, the quotient is 312. And the reminder is 764. Hi. Let's see one more example 2 3 5 6 7 2 2 divided by 999 the base for 999 is 1000 the base 1000 has three zeros so put a remainder stroke three digits after the right hand side so we put it over here Place a comma after every three digits from the right. So we place a comma over here. 
First write down the first digit. 2 down as it is. Next. Write 2 as 0, 0, 2 below the numbers 3, 5 and 6. The base 1000 has 3 zeros so we write 2 zeros in front of 2 to make 2 as a 3 digit number. 3 plus 0 is 3, 5 plus 0 is 5, 6 plus 2 is 8 and we put a remainder stroke. We write 3, 5 and 8 below 7, 2, 2. So 3, 5 and 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. We write down the 0 and carry the 1. Next we do 1 plus 2, 3 and 3 plus 5, 8. Then we do 7 plus 3 which is 10. The remainder can't be bigger than the divisor 999. So, we find how many 999s can fit in 1080 which is 1. So, we add 1 to the quotient. Then, we, we do 1080 minus 999. 1080 minus 999 is 81. So the reminder is 81. To find the quotient, we do, we write down the 2 as it is, 3, 5, and we add 8 plus the carry 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. So the quotient is 2, 3, Bye, nine. Thanks for watching.